Hi ladies, it's Sally Ann. Just thought I'd show you what I've been up to. Um, this is a project I've been doing for Life on the Scrap Beach. It's a 4x4 curtain claw swap hosted by Melissa. So the page line that we were to use well, was curtain call of course but I also picked the Moulin Rouge so this is the front cover um, I just used plain cardstock underneath and then I distressed the edges with the Tim Holtz um, distress inks uh, this is vintage photo and then I cut out a triangle piece of um, black paper and then use the Martha Stewart punch. This is a butterfly that I've made using also the Martha Stewart, um, Stewart punch. I um, a few years ago went to a scrapbooking um, show, exhibition show you could call it and they had this film that if you heat it up it shrinks so I've had it sitting there for years not sure what to do with it so I thought I'd try and put it over the wings it did work a little bit but uh, I think I need to experiment more with it it's got like a shine shimmery feel to it um, then I've um, <coughs> cut out one of the um, pieces from the, the uh, Moulin Rouge line I used, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, brain lapsed, everybody. Oh, glossy accent, sorry. On the, um, just the main characters that you could see coming out, standing out in the paper. Um, then I put uh, pearls. Also, just um, stress the edges again using the um, Tim Holtz vintage photo and then just blacken the edges and then it's a photo mat on the other side so that pops in there and with the Moulin Rouge I just printed that off the internet placed it on one of the tickets that came with that white of paper and then put glossy accents over the top again these flowers are roses from um, I Am Roses and leaves and I just glued at the edges of the leaves distressed it again with walnut stain this time from Tim Holtz and Marion Smith has also um, showed something quite interesting on one of her YouTube channels and that's putting a mask over your dress forms and then um, putting glitter in one area remove the, the mask and then put in glitter again so credit goes out to Marion Smith for that idea so that just pulls out like that and slots in there and on the other side I have a like a cushion from theatre effect happening and then I used iron roses and then I glimmer misted this one with the I think it was like a, something like a gold over the roses I've forgotten the colour ladies also once again distress the edges oh that's also on an acetate so that the tag can go in behind it or photos so yeah I distress the edges again and the tag that I made, I um, embossed it a birdcage onto the card with clear embossing powder. Then I used, with the edges, I used walnut stain and forest moss. Then I used um, my stamp, my French script stamp. I just used the um, embossing pad put that on top and then put <coughs> pardon me um, pearl x over the top so that's how that came up and that's just my name in youtube channel and i just put a dangle charm just there as well so ladies that's my um contribution to the swap 
I'll be sending that out in the mail soon because being in Australia it does take a while to get over to America. Hope you ladies like it and I hope that it'll look really nice in your books. Okay, have a nice day.